Hey, this is Mr. Miller. I'm going to be taking you through the Inca on the Royal Road. Alright, that's enough of that. Okay, I'm just going to show you a couple images that detail the geography of the area where the Incan Empire existed between 1400 and CE and 1500, well, mid-1500s CE. I'm just going to slide through. This is the Atacama Desert. High elevation. Huge mountains, the Andes. Lots of snow. Volcanoes. Lake Titicaca. Uh, which is one of the highest lakes in the world, or navigable lakes in the world. And extended to the Pacific coast uh, all along the western side of South America. Okay, so let's look at a few details on the Incan Empire. Uh, it stretched around 2,500 miles uh, along the Andes Mountains, north to south. Uh, territory covers modern-day Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina. And they used a system of roads to travel that huge area, uh, what we would call royal roads. And there was a total of 15,000 miles of roads that crossed jungles, mountains, deserts, and rivers. Here you can see one of the royal roads. Uh, pretty remarkable engineering. And messengers uh, traveled these roads delivering uh, important messages to the emperor or nobles uh, in Cusco or throughout the empire. Uh, and these messengers could deliver uh, important data around 250 miles or 250 miles a day. Uh, that doesn't mean that one messenger would run 250 miles. Rather, the messengers would run a relay for around a couple miles, deliver it to the next messenger, who would then run another couple miles. And the way that they remembered their message was using an item called a kipu, which is a system or series of knots that would help them memorize important numbers. Uh, for example, send 5,000 troops to the southern end of the empire they would use these knots to help them remember that number. Uh, for farming, they would use terrace farming, which is step platforms on the mountainside. Uh, in order to have level land, they would cut it out of the mountainside. Uh, they were required to give most of their food to the government, which the government would then take and give to the sick or disabled, or people who couldn't work. And they grew squash, peppers, beans, peanuts, corn, and most importantly, potatoes. Here you can see the, the terrace technique cut out into the hillside. For science and technology they created suspension bridges that would cross deep chasms. Uh, think kind of like the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, only they would make them out of rope. Uh, no steel here. And they also had this interesting technique called trepanation which was removing bone fragments in a skull uh, and the reason you would need to do that is you know, if you fought in battle and somebody crushes your skull you'd have to do something about it and they'd do this to relieve cranial pressure and amazingly I, I read a paper that 50 to 70 percent of patients that underwent this trepanation survived which is just incredible and here you can see some different warrior types. Uh, you'll notice a lot of blunt type weapons, meaning like giant hammer sort of things that were meant for crushing skulls, and slings that would throw rocks, which would give good reason for this trepanation technique. Here, again, this is what it might look like if you cut out a piece of your skull to relieve pressure inside your brain. So a quick look at art and architecture. They used textiles to make clothing, uh, lots of geometric patterns and bright colors. Uh, for stone or for buildings, they would use giant stones, and they were such 
good architects and engineers that when they joined the buildings together or the stones together, it didn't require any mortar. So no glue between the different stones to hold the building together. Uh, for example, you see this technique with Machu Picchu, which is an Incan town uh, that the Spanish never found until much, much later. Okay, here's uh, a weaving technique. And you'll see some uh, modern, I think these are uh, Peruvian and Bolivian boys in fairly typical clothing or traditional clothing. And finally, we see Machu Picchu, and you can even see some of the terraces on the side of the hill here. And this was thought to be kind of an Incan, Emperor Incan getaway resort type of place. And the Spanish really didn't find this. Uh, it was discovered in sort of more modern times. All right. That's it.